Hi loves! Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, we are doing a Currently Inked video. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to be filming this video. I feel like it's been a very long time since I last filmed one. I think it was... here, I have it bookmarked. July 24th! Oh my goodness! So. As much as I, you know, want to do these videos every month, because I've seen others do it, and I'm always like, how? I just, realistically, I can't do it. I can't finish a pen in a month. Like, I don't write as much as I would like to. So, you know, I, I know I mentioned it before. It's just, I just can't do it every month. So, these inks right here, I actually, I'm pretty sure I finished all of these in, like, September. So, it does take me a while and that's why i haven't done one of these videos in a while and then once i finish all of these in october i actually had only inked up three pens which i'll share with you because they're going you know they're going to be going into november and december because i'm really the type of person that's like i need to finish this pen i don't want the ink to go to waste i don't want to flush it out or anything like that so i really want to finish the inks that are in the pens if that makes sense so these inks that you see where to go so these inks i actually did ended up finishing back in like september some of these i think this one for sure i finished in october um, but yeah, I'm really excited though because I feel like my lineup for right now going into the winter season is really good or I think it's going to go well with, you know, the season changing and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to share that with you. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. I hope I'm not blabbing too much in this video, but I feel like I'm so excited that my mind is like all over the place because I'm so excited and I just want to share with you all the things. So, okay, let's just get started. Um, I have my spread ready here. I just wrote currently inked in the November 6th. That's the date today. And yeah, we're totally ready to be swatching and everything. So these are the pens that I have currently inked up. I have it in my pen nook. This is by Esther Brook. I will link it for you guys down below. In October, I only had three pens and these are the three pens right here. So all of October I was only using the, the other case that just holds three pens. And well, now that I've inked up more, I switched to the six pen case. Um, and I love these uh, pen cases. I think they're so great. I will link it down below for you guys. They are available on Esther Brooks' website and also over on Atlas. So yeah, and I have coupon codes for both websites. So these are the three that I had been using since October. So this is the first pen actually because I got this on my birthday in September. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim in the line friends brown collection i love this pen and i have this in a fine nib look at that it's so cute i did a whole unboxing for this pen so i will link it for you guys down below but it is the cutest pen and i do really love how this one writes there are some sailor pens that i have with a fine nib that just writes like way more scratchy for some reason i don't know why anyways getting sidetracked here so the ink that i have in here is by wearing gold shock and hold on a second and this is actually a shimmery ink let me zoom out a little bit you can see right there all the shimmer in the bottom of the bottle this is a gorgeous ink though i really really love this so I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys too. If I can open the bottle, that would be fantastic. Come on. Oh gosh, I really had that so tight. Okay. All right, zooming you back in, my goodness. So to swatch, I'm gonna be using my acrylic ink swatcher. These are available in my shop and there's only one left. So yeah, um, anyways, I'm just gonna dip that into the bottle and do a little swatch here just like that i don't think i'm gonna be making any more of these they're very hard to make i literally sit there and like file the acrylic down myself and yeah it's very difficult so it's i don't think i'm gonna be restocking it in the shop again there's only one left 
But I do recommend the Kaki Mori Brass Nib. You can get this at Atlas and they do have a 10% off coupon code for use. This does pretty much the same thing. So there you go, the Kaki Mori Brass Nib. You can get those at Atlas. Anyways, this is wearing Gold Shock. It is a beautiful, beautiful ink. I have been really enjoying it, you know, in my journals and everything. I'm just going to write Sailor Pro Gear Slim Brown. And this is with... It's a gorgeous in color. And again, I love this pen. It just writes so well for me. Yep. It's just so good. I've been really enjoying this. And I've actually had this ink since really September since I got it and I've been using it all of October and I did fill it up all the way when I first you know inked it up and this is all that's left so I'm hoping to have this finished like in November or this month you know so I'm really excited about that and yes this is a shimmer ink and so far I have no problems with it in this pen and this is a fine nib so yeah, no issues there whatsoever. Really enjoying that one. And then I got this pen. Actually, no. First, I inked this one up. This is my Twisby 580 Rose Gold Diamond uh, in the extra fine nib. And I have another wearing gold ink in here. And it is a shimmer. I love putting shimmer inks in this pen. It just works really well. I This is the only pen that I feel like I can always put a shimmer in and have no issues whatsoever. And in here I have Wearing Gold Zemina. This is a gorgeous ink and you can see the shimmer there in the bottom. It's like a bluish silvery shimmer. It's stunning. So I love this. I When I got this ink, I had to, you know, use it right away. And the thing with this ink, I feel like it's a color changing ink. It kind of reminds me of the Shikiori Minori ink by Sailor. Because you can see here, it's like, it's like green and then it fades into a brown. That's kind of what it does. It's really beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's just stunning, to be honest. I love this. With this is my only Twisby pen, by the way. That's why I'm only writing Twisby. Um, I don't know. I just... I don't really like how the other ones look. Like, the eco or whatever. I just... I don't like it. But I, this one, I like how it looks. So... Yeah. I, I hope one day they will come out with more colors. Because I really do like this one. It is a gorgeous ink. And this pen just writes so well. I never have any issue, issues with it. And I, yeah. It's always inked up, this pen. It's like my shimmery pen. <laughs> so that's that one. And then I got this pen, which I did a whole video on. This is by Sailor. It's one of their... Profit Junior pens, so it's on the more affordable side. This was $60, and it comes with an ink bottle, which I think is great, like great value. So this is the Kohiro color or the orange one. I did also get the white one, which I haven't opened yet. I plan on opening that next month, um, come winter time. And there was also another color. I think it was like a blue one, but I really wanted this and the white one. But anyways, yeah, I opened this one and did a whole unboxing on it. So I'll go ahead and link that for you down below in the description box. But this ink that came with it is actually very, very nice. It's not a shimmer ink, but, you know, I like it nonetheless. It's a gorgeous brown. Like, it's perfect. It's like a coffee color that I think everybody needs in their collection at some point. Um. Anyways, this pen I have in a medium fine. I think that's the only nib size that it comes in which i don't mind a medium fine at all so for this one i'm gonna write sailor kohiro and i mean that's all i'm gonna do because the ink name is also kohiro <laughs> just 
so good and I you know it writes so well I don't know I've been really enjoying this in my journals as well I'm gonna share with you towards the end of this video some spreads that I've done with these three inks because I I love them so much so these are the inks that I have had inked up since pretty much all of October and I do really love them you guys I will zoom you in more later when it's all dry okay so anyways now going into the new pens that i have inked up and really ugh, i wanted to use them so badly for the winter time these pens oh my gosh it's been so long way too long since i've last used them i haven't used this since I want to say like a whole year like since last fall winter time so i really have missed these pens and to be honest with you like this is this and this are like my top two favorite pens so to be able to use them again i'm just so excited so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with i think oh boy i'm gonna do this one so this is platinum century in the white color and this I have with an extra fine nib and I believe in this one I used the ink Autumn and Auburn by Ferris Wool Press yes 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 I love this ink I got this last year I really really love it I actually recently got sparkling champagne which is this one right here, I really wanted to use that, but this pen is with an extra fine and I don't want it to clog or anything. So I decided to do Autumn and Auburn because I feel like they're pretty similar. It's just this one has no shimmer, so it's not going to clog my pens. So anyways, let's watch this because, oh, I love this ink. Like, definitely one of my favorite inks ever highly recommend i'm so excited to be using it again look at that mm, i love it it's just like what the name is you know it's literally autumn in a bottle oh my gosh i missed this pen so much look at that nib i love platinum nibs with a cute little heart I really wish that they would come out with more colors here in the U.S. Um, I've seen a few come out, like Japan exclusives, and they're so hard to get. Plus, the price markup is insane. So, yeah, I just really wish we get all those fun colors. So, anyways, platinum. This is with crystal press. It's just so good. I love this pen so much. It's just so good. I miss this pen. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to journal with it. I haven't yet. So yeah, this this week though, I definitely will be. Oh, I'm so excited. And that color is so good. I swear, everything I put in this pen is amazing. Like, this pen can do me no wrong. Like, I love that pen so much. I know some people think it's, like, way too stiff, but to me, I love it. The ink flow is great. It's smooth. My handwriting looks good with it. It's just, like, the perfect nib size. I don't know. I just, I love it. So, anyways. Okay, next we have my Pilot Decimo, and this is another favorite of mine. I love my Decimos. I only have two. Because, you know, I want certain colors, but yeah, I really wish they would just come out with good colors here in the U.S. But anyways, this is my white one. I love it. I do wish that, you know, instead of silver, that it was gold, but that's okay. It's still very pretty, very, like, wintry in my opinion, you know? Anyways, this is with an extra fine nib. And with this one, I actually put my favorite... Ferris Wool Press Steeped Umber. I had to use this one again. I miss this ink. I used this so much last fall and winter and it was just great. I loved how it looked in my spreads. I did get Beaver Dam Brown to kind of like go with this or like so I would use that instead of this because I was using this one way too much last year. But then I realized Beaver Dam is a lot more cool toned and more purpley. 
I really like my warm tones and this is just oh chef's kiss I love this so much I mean this is a bottle that I would definitely repurchase uh, in the future if ever I run out of it so anyways Ferris will press deep number highly recommend this ink it's gorgeous look at that yeah you guys know I like my browns I'm sorry for all the browns <laughs> uh, but I promise the last ink that I'm gonna share with you is really really good too and it's not a brown <laughs> okay so oh my gosh I'm so excited to write with this oh my gosh it's so good I'm sorry about my handwriting but I'm always so amazed on how thin this writes like it's so good <sighs> I love it because I love my handwriting when it's like super tiny and everything even though right now my handwriting sucks but mm, I'm so excited to use these in my journals you guys like I'm so excited okay so that is my pilot decimo with an extra fine nib <sighs> love this pen okay last but not the least I have my gorgeous sailor 21k this is my only 21k nib pen I feel like I need another but it's okay. I don't, I don't need another. It's just, it would be nice to have two. Yeah, just kidding. I don't need it. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, I love this pen. It writes really great. And last year, I actually had Purple Jade Rabbit in this pen. And that's a shimmery ink. And I didn't have any issues. So I was like, okay, maybe this time around I'm going to put another shimmer ink in it which is what i did and so far i think it's okay let me yeah it's it's flowing good oh my gosh i'm so excited so this time around i decided i mean it's also another purple color but it, i haven't used this ink yet my ferris will press is blushing mushroom and you can see it has rose gold shimmer there oh my gosh it's a gorgeous gorgeous in color i was really tempted on using Adve adventurine by ferris will press because i just got that one i really really love it but i wanted something a bit more purple so this is what i chose and i'm very excited like this is a gorgeous in color and i'm excited to finally use it i've had it for a while and yeah i i never used it I don't know why it's gorgeous you'll see when it dries and the shimmer just oh i love the shimmer in this one it's rose gold it's stunning and this pen is great so i believe this is winter rain so i'm gonna write winter rain and this is very small press blushing mushroom and really it's just so pretty pretty purple you know it looks so good okay i can't wait to share that with you but look at this nib though like isn't it stunning I really do love this pen and it's one of those sailor nibs that I have that just writes so smoothly yeah I love it I love it so much I used it a lot last last winter time okay I'm gonna wait for these to dry and then I will zoom you guys in so you can really see all the shimmer in all its glory all right so let's do a close-up of the gorgeousness do you see those shimmers it's so pretty. Okay, hold on. I feel like I need to do a flashlight because this isn't doing it justice. Do you see it now? Do you see the shimmer? So that is Shock, the very first ink. Stunning shimmer. And then, of course, Zemina. Wow, wow, wow. And then look at Blushing Rose, or Blushing Mushroom, sorry. It's still a little bit wet, but you can already see the rose gold shimmers in that purple. It is stunning. There's really nothing. 
<laughs> on the swatches but over here though the twisby always comes through so if ever you want to really see the shimmer in your writing i highly recommend the twisby because look at that but shock over here oh i see some shimmer there in my writing in the first ink so that's good to, to see Sometimes you see it, but you really see it with the Twisby, though. And that's an extra fine. I love it. Over here, I don't really see anything in the in that swatch. But there you go. That's the inks. I hope you're able to see it in all its glory with the flashlight there. I'm really excited for this lineup, you guys. Like, I know this is probably a lot of browns for, for some of you, or it's a lot of neutral colors, but this is just what really works for me. And I just, ah, uh, I love it. Like, Autumn and Auburn and uh, Blushing Mushroom, I feel like those two, to people that's probably a neutral but to me that's like a color like that's like a pop of color <laughs> but yeah i'm really excited i love this lineup okay let me go grab my journal and show with show you a few of the spreads that i did with the first three um eight. so this is my memory keep and i used it a lot in october so oh and also it it looks like see i have had the sailor with shock since september because that's when i got it i think hold on yeah so since september 1st i had shock And did I even show you guys how much I have left of, I mean, you can see the Twisby is halfway. So it's not super full. And then this one, I really filled this up all the way too when I first inked it. And I have just that much left. This is almost done. So that's great because I really want to finish the three um this month so going into december i only will have three inked i don't want to have so many inked up at the same time if that makes sense so yeah okay anyways just sharing with you this is shock right there and i started using it in in september 1st and it just it's really pretty like i love this ink color by wearing gold so gorgeous ink color you can see there and more here and then um this right here oh no not that okay so this is when i started using cojiro i believe let me refer back over here yeah so october 6th is when I started using Kohiro and you can see here my handwriting looks more prominent because the nib size is a medium fine and also the ink color is darker than shock I love love this color as you can see I, I actually used it a lot and then this is back to um, shock I really love the two inks. And then, did I use, oh, here is Zemina. I actually had Zemina in a sailor pen, which had a medium fine nib. And I'm not sure if you can see, there are some skipping happening. So I took it out of that uh, pen and then put it in my Twisby and it's just, so much better now with the Twisby. Um, so definitely put Zemina in something that has a wetter or more, a much better flow. Uh, so yeah, I do really love it. I can't wait to use it. Uh, and then this is with Kohiro. Really love that ink and that pen. It's just so, so good. It just, you know, for what it is, it's a junior profit. 
um, pen. It writes so well and so smoothly with very good ink flow. So highly recommend. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, loves, I think that about wraps up this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, find it somewhat helpful. I will try to listen, link everything in the description box down below. Again, I also have coupon codes for Atlas Stationaries and also Esterbrook if you're interested in any of these items. Oh, and also Ferris Wheel Press. I have um, coupon code for that as well. So yeah, definitely check it all out. It's going to be all in the description box down below. If I miss anything, leave me a comment and I'll try and get the link or whatever it is for you. But yeah, thank you all so much for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And until next time, bye!